A day after the Nation Media Group broke the story of how hundreds of millions from the youth fund may have been looted by its officers, the chairman convened a press conference. Bruce Odeambo says this massive scam was announced by the fund's internal audit department. This board has decided to ask the senior management to take some leave to allow for investigations. And as a board, we have taken cognizance of all our institutional shortcomings and have already put missions in place to address our different challenges. The two officers at the center of this scandal are the acting chief executive officer, Catherine Namuye, and the finance manager, Benedict Atavachi, who will be out for a maximum period of 10 days, paving way for investigations. The only reason you, you're sending only two home is you're putting people who are in charge of finances. Maybe we'll, you never know after all the report comes in. The fund is run by the board but has executive office holders. It is said the chief executive is the sole signatory to the multi-million account where the money was siphoned out over time. It is said that Namuya was authorized by a letter from the chairman to the bank to be the sole signatory contrary to government regulations. The fund is said to have deposited 400 million shillings in a Chase bank account after maturity the chief executive is said to have instructed the bank to pay 65.1 million shillings as consultancy fee to a company named Qua Random Limited. A further 180.9 million shillings is said to have been transferred to an account of Qua Random Limited between the dates of February 2nd and April 27th. This money cannot be accounted for. The auditors are said to have demanded for bank statements but were denied. Once you bring in the anti-fraud, I, I, I don't even know who the anti-fraud are, the banking fraud are. I don't even know who they are. And once these things are being investigated, then the board cannot cover for anybody, trust me. I don't think the board can do that. That 100% for sure I can tell you. When this, when the investigations, the investigations. However, events following these revelations are intriguing. The investigations have never been done by the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission, in spite of them falling directly under their mandate. The Directorate of Criminal Investigations are already investigating the matter together with the Banking Fraud Unit. The Chief Executive is said to have been in the presidential list that was stable before the National Assembly last year. She has been in the ESCC radar, but she never stepped down when the other government officers left office to allow for investigations. In fact, a letter in our position shows the former chairman, Gor Semelango, was warned by the EACC against appointing her the chief executive officer. The Youth Enterprise Fund falls under the Devolution Ministry, which is currently feeling the heat after the 791 million shilling scandal in the National Youth Service.